Hi folks, hope everybody's okay. Um, I just want to say also um, to the kind of hardcore atheist community and um, the kind of new atheist, uh, and that is to please stop your abuse. Uh, I do find that you are very emotionally abusive, especially towards me. Um, and I find I find it very very disturbing uh, and very very painful. Um, and I would just ask the atheist community to stop to, to to the new atheist and to the hardcore atheist uh, to stop being emotionally abusive, uh, especially towards me. Um, I, I would ask the atheists who are more open-minded and gracious uh, to tell the hardcore atheist community and the hard, the new atheist uh, to stop this kind of emotional, abusive kind of behaviour. The emotional, abusive kind of behaviour is when people, atheists have rang me up on Skype pretended to be my friends and then had a whole host of other agendas of trying to collect information on me um, uh, and then tried to abuse m me emotionally with that information um, and I just think that that if you can't stick to if you if you can't get involved in academic debates, if you can't get involved in um, deep analysis of another person's opinions and views, but you have to descend into trying to completely trick someone uh, and and lead them on um, in in the hope that you can try to defend the character. Um, but yet not engage in um, academic debates, not engage in real intellectual inquiry and discussion, then why are you new atheist and hardcore atheist on YouTube? Because surely that's what we should be doing, that we should be engaging with each other. Uh, and it's about learning from each other and listening to each other. And and so I, I I just ask that that the new atheist and the hardcore atheist would really think hard about the the sort of emotional abusive way that you conduct yourself conduct yourselves. Um, you know you would be much better inviting a Christian apologists onto your blog TVs to have academic or real scholarly debates rather than descending into this kind of real real kind of manipulative um, really it's, it's really just being nasty um, and it's just not nice you know it would be better to just um, be friendly with people and uh, offer friendship. I mean, there are some atheists like Negation of P. I mean, he is to me a model atheist uh, on YouTube. He 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 is um, kind, thoughtful, intellectually has integrity. Uh, he's willing to listen to what theists say. Uh, and he's he's willing, um, he he's willing to engage with people, um, and I find that kind of atheist refreshing. I I find that kind of atheist uh, interesting. Uh, and Wee's Apple uh, is another example of a good atheist who, even though I disagree with what they say 
um, has shown uh, a lot of kindness to me and um, you know that's another atheist that 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 these hardcore atheists and new atheists could learn from because I mean she genuinely just cared about people um, so I, I just say um, I just ask the athe you know the hardcore atheist and, and the new the new atheist who, who are in this aggressive kind of mold that in the end it, it doesn't pay it, it doesn't achieve anything in the end um, and in the end it backfires on you um, and I would ask if any atheist does ring me up on Skype to please be genuine because I'm tired of, I've lost count now of how many atheists have rang me up on Skype pretended to be my friend and then knifed me in the back and I, I just, it just stops me from wanting to be open and I want to be open and I want to build bridges with people I don't want to descend into this kind of I, I want to, to be able to talk to people and to be open to people and to listen to people but if people keep phoning me up on Skype and pretending to be my friend and then knifing me in the back in some way as a few have done then um, it stops me from you know it damages me emotionally because you trust these people you know you come to trust them as friends and you, you come to really care about them and then suddenly they're out to destroy you, they're out to collect information and then try to use it against you um, and it takes time to recover emotionally um, when you've trusted people and you've cared about people um, so really if any atheist phones me up please be genuine if you phone me up on Skype please be genuine please be honest uh, and true um, and try to build big bridges because uh, that's what I want to do build bridges okay I, I I don't know everything I just I have certain beliefs and I want to share those beliefs but I'm always willing to learn from other people because at the end of the day it's about growing as a person uh, and we haven't all got it sussed okay thank you for listening and god bless you